All right, guys, welcome back to BA Cars. We've took a little break, haven't we, Logan? Unfortunately. Yeah, we have. How come? Uh, the market's terrible. Uh huh. Everybody's been gone. Uh huh. Sick. Well, where's Casey at? He's on vacation. Of course he is. So the brains is out tonight. Yeah. So tonight is just the, the sheer manpower. Of, <laughs> and you've seen it in the last short. So we do have a new project. Well, I do. This is a personal project for me. Uh, it's a Subaru, and we're going to show you what that is shortly. But tonight, me and Logan are at my house. We're going to be working on the motor specifically. We'll tell you more about what it is later. Uh, we got a timer belt to do, valve cover gaskets, a couple more things to button up, and then hopefully, if all goes well, we're going to stuff it into the car. Watch this work. Here it is. Take a guess. Do you know what this is? Yeah. What is it? It is a STI WRX hybrid. Wagon. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's an 09 Subaru Forester XT. Hmm. You know what the XT means? Extra cool. Oh. It's got this. Oh. You know what okay. that is? That's a, a scoop for a intercooler because this thing is turbo. Um, well, so not right is, now. It's not. Yeah, it's not. It has no engine in it. <laughs> this is my dad wagon. Um, purchased this vehicle probably about six months ago. I would say more than that. Yeah, maybe so. It's been sitting a long time gathering parts. I didn't take this thing apart, unfortunately. Uh, the 2.5 liter motor in the vehicle was blown up, uh, rod bearing, I think. Anyways, I bought it without a motor. I had some of the components from it, but I had to order a motor and I began to look for parts. They were extremely expensive. The motor was extremely expensive. So I went to Cheapway. Uh, I went to JDM 2.0 and we'll explain that in there. But this is an 09 Forester XT and we're putting a 2.0 EJ20X motor in it. Overall, it's in good shape, good tires, good bones, good structure. Interior is nice, 160,000 miles. I think I got a good deal. Um, I'll probably have maybe when all said and done, a little under 4,500, I think. Uh, in it. I think that's fair. Interior is nice. We'll take you around and show it to you. Uh, we can show you the engine bay, all this stuff. You just have to mind my kids like to play in this. So their car seats are in here. Um, it is an automatic. Let me take this out so you can see. It's filthy. It's been setting. Automatic. Uh, not a lot of bells and whistles. It's got a huge sunroof that I found out was cracked. Uh, so I got to replace it at some point. It's mm. not terrible, but it does have a crack in it. Does it leak? No, it okay. does not leak. No water in here. It still smells fresh. It does smell fresh. Uh, interior in the back. I don't think anybody used it that had kids because it's not crusty uh, back here. Oh. Yeah, not for long. Believe, yeah, it, the kids are coming. So if we can get it running, I doubt we can get it running. <laughs> Casey's not here, so we're definitely not getting it running. And then this side, clean. Very nice. This side, clean. It's got a little little dinger right here. Maybe we can buff it out. Use Casey's uh, PDR kit and get some of that stuff out. We're good at getting dents out on Subarus. Yes, we are. We're pros. And then. The old engine bay, if I can find that. Release. Got brand new tires. Brand new tires. They're probably dry rotted because it's set and flat bottom. And it's probably got terrible gas in it. But overall, super clean. I think we're gonna have plenty of room to work in. Um, so yeah, clean the, the uh, torque converter off. And in about two hours, we might be setting a motor down in here. Two hours, huh? Uh, maybe. We'll time it. It's not going to run today. but We'll time it. We're going to put a motor in it. All right. All right, here's the motor. Uh, this is a JDM EJ20 2.0 X out of an automatic uh, from Japan, I guess. The differences are, uh, I'm not really sure. I have researched quite a bit. Some say it's possible. Some say it's impossible. Oh, perfect. The, yeah, the, 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 yeah, I know. <laughs> the videos that I have watched, I've watched a couple of YouTube videos on this, and it's apparently about a plug and play, minus the dual A, V, C, D, one, two, three. I don't know what they're called, A, V, C, S's or something. Uh, so the JDM motor has dual. Uh, what was in the vehicle originally does not. So there'll be no electrical hookups for your A, V, C, S. I think that's what they call it. So. The video that I watched actually took uh, the exhaust cam gears and timed it a tooth off uh, to compensate for what the ACVS does. Uh, we also have uh, valve cover gaskets because they are notorious for leaking. Logan's been through this. Yep. He knows, so we're going to do valve cover gaskets. I got plugs. Um, got to remove a couple of filters here. 
I've got a coolant. Uh, there's some kind of coolant for it on the back that you can actually use as an auxiliary. I got that kit. I've got the turbo uh, ready to go. Uh, and there's a couple other little things that we're going to have to do, button it back up, and then hopefully we're going to set it in the car. So if you're going to do this swap, why not learn from us? Because it's probably never going to run, to be honest with you. <laughs> and if it does run, it's probably going to run terrible. Uh, Don't say that. This is a Subaru. This is a Subaru. Who cares if it runs good? You know, <laughs> we're going to give you some content. That's all that matters. And we don't know what we're doing. So if you have any input, go down there in the comments and let us know. But, uh, yeah, we'll put you in fast motion. We'll bring you out of fast motion. We're going to start getting some parts out and putting this motor together. <laughs> All right, we're back. I got all the timing components off. So what I'm going to do, I, I know this side, for whatever reason, is spring-loaded. So I've got my tensioner on here, or my holder, and I already had it on top dead center. So I'm going to go back and look at the video to verify, but I think this cam will roll um, in some direction. I'm not sure which way uh, it rolls. It looks like it's already out of time now anyway, so something, something happened. Not sure what happened, but something happened. Uh, so we'll get this side off a tooth this side off a tooth and we're going to slide that belt back on and hopefully everything works put our pulleys back on and we did find out unfortunately we'll tell you in a minute logan we already ran into an issue here so yeehaw all right i know you can kind of see these marks so we're going for the exhaust side we want to go this way a tooth and on the other side we want to go down a tooth so i'm going to try that it actually jumped a little bit i guess it's because of that a v b i c whatever it is uh stuff so i'm going to loosen this up and hopefully i can turn it back and lock it in a tooth um off so we'll see it's probably going to chop my fingers off and i'm using my favorite garage tool the uh thumb wrench the thumb wrench and that thing went a country mile right there as you've seen so we'll see if i can rotate it back a tooth which should be right there I'll come over here and lock this in that one is lined up on the top side I believe unless it went cattywampus which I don't think it did I think it's still okay this one's off a tooth now so we'll jump over here to the other side and see if we can do the same thing. I don't think it's spring-loaded, though. So. All right, now Logan's over here working. You can see him in the background. I'm going to rotate this one, and there's marks on the side, too. There's marks all the way around for these. So it's pretty easy to see what you're doing. So this one will go down a tooth. I believe that's correct. From what I see here, the marks lined up we're going to come over a complete tooth and that should put us in the center of the next one and it does so we're going to throw the, the pulleys on now and put the belt back on and see if i got the right belt i don't know i doubt it How'd that go? Terrible, man. We have <laughs> si YouTube, we have such terrible luck because we don't watch enough how-tos before. And we fought this thing for... At least... 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah, and realized that uh, you, you got to leave this off, this idler, and this off. So, this one is removed completely. Yep. 
This one is loosened. Yep. This one is removed completely. Yes. So you put it all on. Yes. Then we started by adding this one. Mm-hmm. Tightening that one. Yep. And then adding that one. Yes, we did. And it lined up. And we're too tall, so that didn't help anything at all, I don't think. Hmm. Which is what you're supposed to do. So hmm. if it doesn't work and it blows up, I'm blaming somebody else. Yep. So we got the timing belt on. I'm going to pull the tool out, put the caps back on, the ACVS. Timing cover will go on. We're not doing the water pump. It legitimately looked new. Yeah, the motor looks new. Unfortunately, and hmm. you've seen Logan reassembling the valve covers. They sent me the wrong valve cover gasket. I'm not waiting. We're going to slap this thing back together. If it leaks, I'll take it apart in the car. Hope it doesn't leak, but we're going to throw the timing cover on um, and then take it off the engine stand. Yeah, I mean, obviously, this has low miles, and yeah. the the gasket was still pliable. So yeah. I, I think it'll be fine. So hopefully it'll hold up. So. Yeah, and I did it, so it's, that's it's definitely not, a good no, sign. It's not a talon. That's true. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we're going to throw this stuff back on, and uh, we'll catch you in a minute. We'll put you in some speed up again. Sparky, what are you doing now? Got these brand new <laughs> NGKs going in. You know, S I L F R six A's. Cold the for best. Turbo. Oh, hey, are they? I think this is probably the best thing we'll do all night. Or do you think we can mess this up? I mean, there's a chance. <laughs> it's probably going to counter. Uh, or Let me we strip these out. It. Let me <laughs> strip these out real quick. It's not my car. What, what do a, I care? Yeah, what a time, man, we've had with that time belt. Well, it's always something. You know, we didn't really mess with it that long. We persevered. And it's still daylight. There's a Jeep, by the way. See it? How's it ride? Oh, so good. It's so good. Would you do it again? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Wife loves it. Yeah, she did. She seemed excited on the video. Yeah. We'll give you a shot of it here in a minute. we got to be moving in the rail when we get this bad. That's right. Up on the engine stand. You know what? we got to go get some dinner. So... Yeah. We'll take it. Yeah, we already get some supper. Supper? For Logan. My wife can make you a sandwich. That's okay. <laughs> All right, we got four of these to put in. And I don't know if it matters on the cool packs. I did mark them when I took them out. Um, I don't think it matters. So we're going to just probably throw them back anywhere. You definitely want to put them in before we put it in the car if it's anything like a WRX. Yes, I think you're right. Yeah. Yep. These, these are good. We don't even need to tighten them down. Let's roll. All right, what's next? Turkey. Yeah. God, look at that brand new. Yeah, this That's thing a, was a bear. It's a Garrett, 83 millimeter, mm. or about 12 millimeter. It's a Chinese something. So the cartridge in the center, you can replace these. And that's kind of the, what I did. This was, I think this was like a, maybe a $200 cartridge. Um, and I used the guts off the other one. It was a pain. Well, there's no in play the in it, that's for sure. But this right here, this snap ring in here, terrible. Absolutely terrible. Mm -hmm. But I got it. I bent my needle on those to make it work. <laughs> so we're gonna throw it on i've got some gaskets too I, gasket. I got this gasket got these gaskets this gasket all oh, that and i brought some more and logan brought some for the underside yeah. which we're probably not gonna need those but okay so we're gonna throw this turbo on here uh, and i think we also got to put the feed line and i think you got to bend it a little bit and we got a broken backing line right here i got a replacement perfect for that so yeah perfect. we'll set you back up and throw this turbo on So now 
we're going to get the motor off the stand. Logan's eating mm -hmm. some Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A <laughs> with the pink burger. <laughs> I'm going to roll the stand out of this mess over here. Yep. Take it outside. Take this off. Roll that over here, and uh, set it down in there. That's probably about all we're going to accomplish. It's going to be really tight with the ceiling. We're going to have to do it outside. A little bit. We're running out of time. <laughs> Now it's kind of hidden. Now we got to pop it. It's dark. Sorry. It's hidden up there in the corner. Yep. There you go. Got it. Got it. All right. Now I do have to do one thing, as you can see here. This. It's rusty. So I'm gonna take my whiskey wheel, clean that up, seat it, and set it. Yeah. <laughs> Dowel pins for the back. So these are these line up the block to uh, the transmission. I love this about Subaru. It's awesome. I uh, ordered these online, part number is here if you need it. 8675309. Yep, sounds good. So we're going to thread these into the block, lock them down. Um, the dowel pins are already in the motor, the transmission. Uh, so all we have to do is put these on and then we're going to set it down in there. looking we're looking good the motors in we had I think one small issue that we didn't show you with the dowel pin yeah uh, so the dowel pin on the driver's side was a little corroded and for whatever reason it didn't want to made up so it had a little gap we've done a little sanding on it and went right in there yep so you can show them but still yet I mean this didn't take us 30 minutes yeah not long at all it's dark too it's hard to see yeah. anything uh, we're fighting that but Subaru motors are always pretty easy to take in and out. Don't you dare jinx us. It's in. We just got to bolt it's it up. It's in. It may not run, but it's in. Okay, I'll give you that's that. That's it. That's an accomplishment. I'll give you that. We did something that we told them we was going to do tonight. That's true. And it's, I don't even know what time it is. 8.39. Hair past a freckle. Ain't got no ID. I ain't got no ID either. So we're going to take the chain off, fold this thing up, get it out of the way, clean up our mess, pull it in, maybe hook up a couple more things and... Call it done. Sounds good. Victory. We got it. Yes, we did. The well, motor's you know, part. Yeah, I mean, hey, this is an accomplishment. Yep. I think so, at least. The motor's in. Uh, we got the timing belt done. We didn't get the valve cover gaskets on. <laughs> we got new plugs in it. I did replace one valve cover. Yeah, you wiped it, yeah, you wiped it down. It's <laughs> good. It's probably going to leak like a sieve, unfortunately, but yeah. that'll be all right. We'll, uh, we'll tackle that as it comes. So next week, maybe... I don't yep. know what the cards hold yet. Yep. Got a lot coming up, a couple more projects maybe we've got to do, uh, but I would love to see this thing run in the next video. I'm sure you would too. Two episodes and having one running, that's a that's That a would be a miracle. <laughs> That'd be mm -hmm. a record for us. A Christmas miracle. A Christmas miracle. It would be a Christmas Subaru miracle. You know what? It's almost run. April 1st, so it would be April Fool's Day. That's right. Yeah, we, we definitely <laughs> wouldn't lie to you. We, we hope to start it up. I don't know if that's possible or not, but... We'll see how it goes. Waiting on a couple more parts. A couple more parts and then a couple more bolts. A couple more bolts. You're going to have to find some bolts. Got to find some bolts. Yep. And I cut my little piece of tube and back too short. <laughs> you didn't see that. And I'm not going to tell you what I did. But <laughs> I made a mistake. So send that's, me. That's an easy one. Yeah. But that's going to be it. That's it. So if you like what we do, if you like our content, 
and we know it's crazy most of the time, but we hope you enjoy it. If you do, go down there, hit that subscribe button, give us a big thumbs up, and we'll see you.